So I heard a noise. I got up, checked on the kids. I thought maybe one of them had fell out the bed. So I got up, checked on the kids, and then I'm like, I didn't see anything, so I came in the bathroom, and I just think the whole mess, like I just think it. Mm. What this Milwaukee renter discovered was that gaping hole, her ceiling and the roof above caved in. That was 10 days ago. And since then, Lametta Ham Hamilton Cooper says not much has been done to fix it. And that's why she emailed TMJ4 News asking for help. Lighthouse, our specialty reporting unit, got in touch with Lametta right away. Andrea Albers visited her home to see the damage. And tonight, Andrea is exploring the rights tenants like Lametta have and what landlords are held accountable for. So this is the bathroom. This is where the ceiling fell. 10 days ago, the sound of the ceiling caving in woke Lametta from her sleep, and she says it's been a nightmare ever since. Still, we still can't use the shower, so we're just paying rent here and still not able to use the whole house like that's unfair. She says it took five days for someone to cover the hole with a tarp and now her landlord says it will be several weeks until it's fixed. He said they got to redo the whole roof. Once they redo the whole roof, then they'll work on this. So how do you feel about how this has all been handled? Pretty bad because like I said, we can't take showers. I have kids, so we have to go somewhere else do extra. So that's extra. Who wants to do that? Lametta told us her landlord says it's safe to shower. Would you take a shower like that? But she's not convinced. I really don't know what else to do. I call everybody. I call y'all. One place she turned to was Milwaukee's Department of Neighborhood Services. I also called the office and was told they will step in during an emergency, like no water or electricity. But an inspector has to make that decision, and it's a two to four week wait to get one out. I found Wisconsin law does not explicitly state that landlords are required to provide or pay for alternate housing if a rental unit is uninhabitable due to serious damage. But landlords are obligated to make repairs within a reasonable time frame. If not, tenants may be entitled to withhold rent. Lametta says she's asked her landlord for a rent reduction. He was like, no, I can't do that. I have to pay 12000 for the roof. Are you going to help me? So I called him to get answers. Hello? Were you aware that there's been a hole in the bathroom ceiling for over a week now? Uh, over a week, yes, I was. I was out of the country and I just made it back like four days ago. He told me he's trying his best and has hired a roofing company. Sure. I did what I was supposed to do. I signed a contract with the company and they said they should be able to do it everything in two weeks. There's just yeah, a tarp over yes. the hole. You feel that's secure enough? Yes, yes, it's very secure. The landlord also said he doesn't have other accommodations to offer Lametta, but did say he'd be willing to work with her on a reduced rental rate. I also reached out to rental advocacy organizations in the area to see what options Lametta has. I never heard back. Andrea Elbers, TMJ4 News, Lighthouse.